hey guys i hope you guys are doing great so in this video we are going to see how we can apply the chi square test on our data set so suppose we have got two categorical variables and we want to check whether those two variables are correlated or not or there is some dependency between those two variables or not so for that we use the chi square test so before i begin this video i would ask you to subscribe to my channel by hitting on the bell icon so that you do not miss on anything so let's begin so when you apply the chi square test on a data set you need to first see what are the assumptions of chi square test whether the data is complying with those assumptions or not and what are those assumptions so majorly there are three assumptions the first one that the observations in each samples should be independent and identically distributed so this means that the values in a particular variable or a feature should not have dependency on any other value okay then our second assumption says that the value in each cell should be at least five in at least 80 percent of the cells because we are going to create a kind of a cross tab matrix so in that matrix each cell should have at least five number of values ideally but if not then it should be in 80 percent of the cells at least now the third and the important obvious assumption is that the two variables should be categorical variable it is always true with the chi square test and if not then we have to see which test we can apply so for example if you want to check the correlation between two numerical variables then we use the pearson's correlation test or spearsman's rank test i have made a separate video for pearson's correlation test do check that out so let's continue so in our case we have taken two categorical variables one the first variable is the horsepower and the other variable is model year but you can see there are some values and it looks like that it is a numerical variable but what we are going to do is we are going to change this numerical variable into the categorical variable and how we are going to do it let's see how we are going to achieve that so we will be first looking at for the horsepower column what are the minimum and the maximum values so i'll be using the describe function of pandas to check that so i see that the minimum value is 46 and the maximum value is 230 and similarly i can check the same for the model year by the same describe function and let's execute that and i see that minimum year is 70 years and the maximum is 82 years now i'll be using the pandas pd cut cut function to create the categories and so for that first we are going to create the pins so for example for the horsepower i see that uh, minimum is 46 so i can have these bins like 0 to 75 so 75 to 150 150 to 240 because we have maximum 230 so i have my bins ready so i create a new feature that is horsepower new and then i use pd cut pd cut and inside i'll give the variable that i want to transform into categorical variable and then bins I will give as bins the one that I have created above and then I will give names to each category so I have given in this order like for the first category is low low horsepower medium horsepower and H for high horsepower so I have just given a name to it so now I'll execute it and after executing it let's check just for testing let's see whether yeah so we are getting it in the correct naming and correct order so yeah this works well so this way we have created a new categorical variable which is from the numerical variable of horsepower and similarly we can go ahead to for the year and model year of the vehicle and we have named a new variable year new and similarly with function i'm going to create the 
label column or the categorical column with bins and labels so i have given like 69 as the minimum year and 84 as the maximum and i've given two more intervals and then i have named it t1 t2 t3 just as a timestamp i have given an abbreviation to it and let's execute it and also we got it done we have created a categorical variable out of it so now we can use the cross tab function of pandas to create our matrix which we will going to pass into the chi square function but before that we'll just create this cross tab using cross tab with these two variables that we just created the horsepower new this is a categorical variable the year new this is also a categorical variable and we are going to create a matrix which will give us the frequency that is occurring for these classes in the both variables or the labels in the both the variables so this gives me the frequency of each event that is happening between t1 and low horsepower that is a timestamp which is between 69 and 72 and low horsepower there is some range to it so like this i'm getting and i see that my assumption of minimum five elements five values in each cell is satisfying okay we are going to create our null and the alternate hypothesis for chi-square testing so in chi-square testing how it is formed so in chi-square testing the null hypothesis is that the variables are independent so if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 that is 5% that alpha that we have chosen for example in this case so in that scenario the variables are independent so they are not correlated so this is quite similar to Pearson's correlation okay and the alternate hypothesis will be that there is dependency between two variables if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 okay so now let's keep that in our notes and i execute it and now i'm going to import the scipy stats chi square contingency so chi square contingency is used when we have a cross tab this kind of matrix of two categorical variables and then this particular matrix we are going to pass inside the chi-square contingency okay i repeat that chi-square contingency is the library that we are importing from scipy stats and it has got four such variables that will be unpacked so we can instantiate it and this particular contingency gives us the results that is stats p value and there are two more factors let's check that out instead of writing it out i will do is i will create it in d and i will first print d then we can unpack it and i execute it so what i get is first is i get the stats 54.95 i get p value which is very small which is almost close to zero then i get degrees of freedom as my third variable and then i get the expected frequency array okay so i'll what i'll do is i'll just unpack i'll just unpack it and i'll just keep that and then i will write a small if else function which will give us automatically what the conclusion is so here i have written that if the p value that i am obtaining is greater than alpha that means the variables are not correlated to each other they are totally independent to each other but if in case the value comes after calculation that we can see over here also that it is much less than 0 0.05 it is quite close to zero so in that scenario our variables these two variables are correlated to each other they are dependent on each other got it so i'll just execute it and as we know the answer yeah the value with this p value which is quite small with 95 percent confidence we can say that there is dependency between these two variables and what are these two variables we just saw the year of the 
manufacturing of the model and the horsepower of the model it has got correlation so as the year progresses so the horsepower also changes according to that so this was all in this video i hope you guys like this video i'll see you in the next video do subscribe to my channel till then bye